Hey my baby dolls, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I would love to show you all this hair by Ellie Bell. This is their wig, their Brazilian straight wig, 360, pre-plucked. I have it in 22 inches long. This hair is so, so gorgeous, y'all. Like, I have to say this is one of my best straight human Brazilian wig. Like, this hair is so, so bomb. I believe I have it in the 180 or 130 density. This hair is so full. Like, it's so, so silky. The hair texture. I did not get any tangles. I barely got any shedding. Um, I had to go in and pluck this unit. Now, it does say that it's pre-plucked, but I definitely had to go in and pluck this unit um, I did have a hard time trying to put this wig on because the cap was so damn small um, I don't even think you can choose what cap size you want I think it just automatically comes in a size small I believe but yeah I did have a hard time putting on the cap that's the only thing that I would say that I had problem with this wig other than that this wig is pretty pretty good I love this unit yeah, if I left anything out, I'll have everything down in the description box. So yeah, let's just start on the makeup. So first things first, I did moisturize my face with the Olay uh, Regenerous. This is my daily moisturizer. I'm just going to go ahead and just prep my skin up. Y'all, it feels so weird not having no nails on <laughs> in this video. But to start off with my brows, I am going to use the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in the color Espresso. Conceal to the brows. I am going to use the Maybelline Master Conceal in the color 40 Medium. Then on top, I applied the 50 medium deep shade. Conceal my eyelid. I use the concealer by Maybelline, the 40 medium shade. I just uh, applied that all over and then with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, I just blended it all out. For some reason, the concealer looked extra white <laughs> on camera, but it's not that light. So, the powder that I use to set everything into place is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the color Translucent. So for my transition shade, I used the color Idolize in the Lime Prime Venus XL palette. And I just went in with this color. I love this shade. Um, this is a pretty like brown, but it has a hint of pink in it a little bit, but it's not too pink. It's like a peachy brown tone, which is really cute to start off any eye look with. So, of course, I am going to use the Sculpt Color in the True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance. Y'all all know I love this color. Um, I always use this color in every eye look that I do. And, of course, this one, just because I'm not doing a heavy eye look because I am doing a vampy lip. 
for the eyes, I am keeping it nice and subtle and simple. And then I'm going to go in with my NYX uh, liquid eyeliner. Um, this liquid eyeliner is the best. I love this. I purchased mine from Target. Uh, the reason why I love this liquid eyeliner is because it dries matte. It doesn't have like that weird sheer glow when it dries. Like it just dries matte. So yeah, I am not going to do a wing. I'm just going to do a nice thick layer across. And I just took my Laura Mercier mascara. And then for lashes, I'm applying these lashes by Pinky Rose Cosmetics. I doubled two lashes together. They're in two different styles. I believe one is called Mimi and the other is called Disco. Now for foundation, I am going to be using the L'Oreal True Match foundation in the color soft sable c6 y'all this used to be my favorite foundation like my favorite go-to foundation i forgot all about it so i just started back using it this shade um well this foundation period is just the bomb this is a drugstore product i purchased mine from target you can also purchase yours from walmart too as well it's full coverage and it works the same as high-end foundations So the concealer that I'm going to use is the 50 medium shade in the Master Maybelline Conceal. I really love how this foundation has my skin looking like it looks so smooth and just flawless. Like you guys have to purchase you some of this foundation if you don't have it already. So the next concealer, I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Conceal in the color Honey. This right here is a extra extra step. I love to have a bright under eye. So I am going to be using the LA Pro Conceal in the color Creamy Beige. You all do not have to do this step. I am doing a extra step with my makeup as always. This is just something that I love to do. I just I love to have a bright under eye. I put a little bit on the bridge of my nose, forehead, and on my chin. And to make sure everything is set in place, I am going to be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder in the color Translucent. The Stay Matte Rebel London Loose Powder too as well. So they have a press and they have a loose. So I am going to be using the loose powder down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to put some um, around my nose area where I get a little bit oily. So this is just, just I'm basically baking right there in that area to make sure I don't crease up in that area or get oily. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I bronze and contour my cheeks with the Black Radiance Contour Palette. I did 
go down the bridge of my nose just to chisel it out and define it. So basically, yeah, I kind of like contoured it a little bit. By me putting down the powder, it did help. So I did put a little bit more powder down. And then I went in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Coreless in the color 330 Toffee and just made sure that I went um, and made sure I chiseled out my contour. Now to take all this powderness away, I am using the Laura Geller Spackle Mist. This is their Prime Set Refresh Spray. And then um, also I use the color Idolize in the Lime Prime palette and I put that under my waterline. And then for highlighter, I use the Laura Geller highlighter in the shade Ballerina. Here is my favorite part. This is like the icing on the cake. I'm going to go ahead and remove the foundation that was left on my lips. All that, you know, take all that away. So here I'm going to go ahead and use the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Liquid Lipstick. You guys, this liquid lipstick is so pigmented. When you uh, wear this lipstick, make sure that you're taking your time and kind of like outlining your lips first and then kind of like go in I wish I did have a blue lipstick no I mean a blue um, lip liner uh, so if you do wear this I would recommend that you overline your lips with a lip liner first one thing I like about this lipstick is, is that it doesn't like smur or rub off it stays on all day you don't have to keep applying it and it dries quick And then to spice things up, I did go in with the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Center Stage Palette. I used the color Infamy, and this palette is like a glitter eyeshadow shade. It's gold, and I put this in my inner tear duct. that wraps up for this video baby dolls I hope you all enjoy this makeup this hair if you have any questions feel free to let me know down below I'll have everything listed down below in the description box hope you all enjoy love you all see you all in my next video